a unique way to educate the public on sharing the road. Simulators like this are giving the public a chance to see what it's like behind the wheel of a semi-truck and the importance of sharing the road. Dozens of bottles of mouthwash spilled on I-24 tied up the Friday commute in Dade County. Two semis collided at the I-59 split, making for a slow start to the 4th of July holiday weekend. The drivers involved are okay, but with truck driver deaths increasing over the last couple of years, members of America's road team are trying to make the public more aware. This will get you in trouble. This simulator puts you behind the wheel of a big rig to see what it's like when transporting a load and how easily crashes can happen. Stephen Richardson has driven a semi for more than 25 years and says cars need to stay out of truck drivers' blind spots. If I'm going down the road and there's this huge object, say a blown tire, say a piece of metal, uh, land in the middle of the road, I can straddle it because my vehicle is so much higher. If you're so close behind me, you have no time to react. The Transportation Department reports 75% of all truck-related deaths are caused by a car driver. 35% of those happen in the truck's blind spots. Richardson says it's also very dangerous to drive alongside a semi. The best thing you can do is pass a truck as quickly and safely as possible. We have a lot more information about some of the issues that truck drivers encounter and how you can help make roadways a lot safer right now on WRCBTV.com. Reporting from Athens, I'm Michelle Heron, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.